Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix escape from Tarkov game crashing, not launching, not loading, lagging, freezing, black screen or other issues on PC. So let's go through it. So the first method is to check system requirements. So for that, go to Steam. Now search for the game. After that, go below and here you will find the system requirements to play the game. Make sure your PC have all the required specs and after that, try to launch the game and check if it's working. If not, next uh, method is to modify launch options for that go to steam now in the library section select your game here i am showing you an example right click on it click on properties now under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and check if it's working if not again come back type minus dx12 and then try to play the game and check if this resolves the problem if not next is to run the game from installation folder so for that go to steam select your game right click on it click on manage then click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed here you have to select the game application and double click on it now check if the game is opening or not if not next method is to run game as administrator for that select the application right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok after that launch the game and check if it's working if not, again come back, select run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then click on apply and OK and then launch the game. If this doesn't resolve, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, click on apply and OK and after that check if the game is launching or not. If not, next is to update your graphics card. For that, go to the Windows search, search for device manager. Now here you have to expand display adapter, select your graphics card, right click on it, click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. So this will check and update your graphics card. Once done, launch the game and check. Nvidia and AMD users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card over there. Next solution is to verify integrity of game files for that go to Steam. Under library section select your game, right click on it, click on properties, now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. So this will check and verify the game files once done launch the game and check next is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall network protection allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and here you have to search for the game if it's not listed you have to click on allow another app click on browse then go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here now after adding it, search for the game and here you have to select it and after that make sure both public and private boxes are ticked and then click on OK. After that launch the game and check if this has helped to fix the problem. Next is to stop overclock CPU and GPU setting. So sometimes overclocking makes the CPU or GPU unstable so you are suggested to check if there is any overclocking of CPU or GPU in the background. This will help you to fix the issue. Next method is to check graphic settings. So when a graphic settings is not properly set up like texture, quality, resolution, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues as it plays a vital role. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next method is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users, uh, go to Steam, click on Steam option. Now click on settings, then click on in game and here you have to click on enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable it once you disable it it launch the game and check if the problem is resolved for geforce experience users open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and switch off in game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab and switch off enable in game overlay option by this way you can disable the in game overlays and after that try to play the game Next method is to install Visual C++ files. For that, I have already provided the link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser. Or even you can search for Visual C++ files on your browser. Now, after the website opens, go below, click on the link. And after it download, open the link, uh, open the file. And now you have to click on repair or install option. Click on repair and wait for some time. And after that, you will get uh, the pop-up of setup successful. Once done, now restart your PC once. After restarting, again log into the game and check if you can play it without any problem. If not, next solution is to update Windows. For that, go to the Windows search, search for check for updates. Here you have to click on check for updates option and this will check if any update is available. If yes, update your Windows to the latest version and after that, 
try to play the game and see next is to disable antivirus program as well as firewall so if you are having any antivirus program then it can interrupt in your gameplay for that go to the windows search search for windows security now here you have to click on virus and threat protection now click on manage settings and here you have to turn off real time protection if uh, if it is turned off well and good if not you have to turn it off once done again go to the windows search search for windows defender firewall search for windows defender firewall now here you have to click on turn windows defender firewall on or off and select turn off windows defender firewall in both private and public network settings after that click on ok and then launch the game but later on again come back and uh, enable the protection and after that check next is to increase virtual memories for that go to the windows search search for view advanced system settings now click on settings then click on advanced click on change now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed after that select custom size here you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576 after that click on set and then click on ok once done launch the game and check if not next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card for that go to the windows search search for graphics settings now here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add desktop app after that go to the game folder where your game has been installed add the game to the list now after adding it click on the arrow icon under GPU preference you have to select high performance now after this launch the game and check if it's launching or not if not then the final solution is to reinstall escape from Tarkov game for that go to the uh, steam and now under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and then click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your PC once done restart your PC once after restarting launch steam and reinstall escape from Tarkov game once again and then click on play button and check if it's opening or not so following the methods you can easily fix escape from Tarkov game crashing not launching not loading lagging black screen or other issues on PC so that's all for now in this video thank you